And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed's Fate, our next donation deck. Pairing together these two awesome champions, Zed and Twisted Fate, and all of the cool little tricks that Ionia can do with the steel and card advantage that Bilgewater has. So we'll get, get a... Um, so we're kind of combining a, a lot of things to make a pretty sweet deck here. So we got our card advantage with our Black Market Merchant, our Pilfer Goods, Shadow Assassin, um, that kind of stuff, you know, to go along with Twisted Fate, trying to level that up. But we're also pressuring our opponent with Zed, so they have to they have to deal with Zed, and we have our Twin Disciplines to protect both of them. Um, and then we also have, uh, and we also have like some neat little other Ionia tricks, Retreat, um, Sonic Wave, both of these pretty good i i do like retreat you know like we can uh like for example we can um you know protect anything with retreat and then bring it right back so like zed with retreat's pretty nice you know having three mana um threats to put in with the one mana card definitely really good um retreat and sonic wave they give us our two spells a turn for our eye of the dragon we can like bounce a black market merchant with retreat and then we have to recast this is a play we'd have to recast black market merchant but but we can we can bounce it recast it draw more cards um or you know bounce our shadow assassin put it back in cool things to do with that our sonic wave is awesome with the draglings that eye of the dragon makes it's also really good with zed and uh twisted fate both zed and twisted fate have quick attack so the quick attacks um a good thing to give a challenger and then pump up so that works well with both of those um, so we have some good synergy here. A lot of um, pretty efficient cards. You know, our, our curve, like we got all like one, two, three mana cards for the most part. A couple of fours and then just some Riptide Rex because of how good that card is. But I like how we'll be, um, be able to play a whole lot of stuff quickly with our Zed's Fate deck. So let's give this a try. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. And uh, let's get started. So Zed's fate. Puppy dogs are sleeping behind me. Okay, we got it. Got the scariness of they who endure. Deny is great against Atrocity, but kind of that's about it. So we're going to mulligan it. They don't target our stuff too much. So I'm going to get rid of that. I do want to... I really... I want to focus... I want to be able to find some way to turn on Plunder. So I'm going to mulligan this too. Look for a Plunder Enabler. We have a couple of the one mana thing. What I was really hoping to draw was uh, Prowling Cutthroat. One mana elusive card. That's what I was hoping to draw was Prowling Cutthroat here. What's that noise? But it's okay to just bank the spell mana. We don't have to play these two drops. Oh, well, we got something to play on turn two now. Lady Elise, please, take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. So we could either have Zed on three and pressure the attack with Zed on three, or we can have Jaw Hunters take out Keep Peace. The usually we'd be going with Zed. The downside to playing Zed is that they do have a really good at jump block with the Hapless Aristocrat, and their deck just in general is good at jump blocking. Like they'll just they'll just block with this Hapless Aristocrat, be just happy with that. And then expand onto the board more, and then we'll be looking at like whenever they they can just like untap and attack, and I'm looking at my Zed and my Eye of the Dragon as my blockers, and that's not really ideal. I'm gonna go with this Jaw Hunters to try to take out Elise. Nothing escapes my. Okay, so took that out, got a sea monster for our troubles. Everyone's a guard. 
It's a bold strategy against a Twisted Fate deck. So they're still drawing a card. I'm going to wait on Pilfer Goods. While we could play it, I think it's going to be a lot better to have Black Market Merchant in play first. Make these things cost one less. So we could basically level up. I mean, basically level up. Uh, twisted Fate already. So at six out of eight. Hapless Aristocrat. A little glimpse beyond the Hapless Aristocrat. I don't know. I don't even know if I should be playing Hapless Aristocrat, honestly. Maybe I should just be doing that with the Omen Hawk so like, we get the draggling and stuff. But I definitely want to play the Omen Hawk first before the Glimpse Beyond. Looks like I'm on a hot street. Oh, y'all were saying I should have just played the Glimpse Beyond and then played those other things and gotten blue card, red card. I guess I could have done that, too. We don't really need more cards, but yeah, I guess I, guess I could have done that. Tis true, tis true. <laughs> yeah, first game, level up Twisted Fate. It's always good. I want to play Jaw Hunters to be able to challenge the Neverglade Collector. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Soak it in. I also want to get Zed in play. Uh, this deck was from Niceville. If I play Zed, we'll get the red card and we would kill the Cursed Keeper. And then also the other thing is I would have I tapped out and not had any protection for my leveled up Twisted Fate. Which I wanted to keep protection available. Yeah, so red card would do three damage to us. That's probably okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, we are like way ahead, but I feel like I haven't been playing this too well because now, like, think about it. I th think I should have just had the Twisted Fate be the challenger, not the Zed, because then, you know, like, now we're not going to be able to level up Zed with, with them blocking Zed, right? So, should have had the Twisted Fate be the challenger. Come, stay a while. How do I stop they who endure? I guess I don't have anything in my hand to stop the endure, do I? I mean, just gold card, but that doesn't stop the atrocity part. <laughs> With your dead body. What's your hurry? Oh no, that's going to stun that, and then we don't actually kill that thing. Alright, well that was bad. That was just really bad. Start retrying this. Yeah, I, I have not played these last two turns very cleanly. That's all. Yeah, this is some ridiculous card advantage, though. No, my, my opponent shouldn't have Ruination. I'd, I'd be surprised if they had Ruination. I'd be quite surprised if they did. But I, I could have, I could have like had this game over, like with my atrocity and everything. I could have had it over right now. This is what we call cycling. Just getting this card out of my hand and drawing a new one. Well, I would like to play. I'd like to play the the shipwreck hoarder more than anything else, but the problem is I don't have. I don't, know, I don't have. I can't play another thing for gold card. I don't even know if that's even a problem. It's probably not a problem. We should be able to kill them before they play They Who Endure. Like, I shouldn't need to worry about a massive They Who Endure.
Doesn't mean that I won't have to, but I shouldn't have to. They have two blockers. Think about just atrocity and just like sack the bark beast and kill the Neverglade collector. No, that's that's silly. This man should have just played the the four four instead of the two one. This is them going down to three. This is them going to zero. So it was a little messy there. Wasn't the cleanest of games, but we got the W. You don't get style points. All that matters is that you get a win. You don't get an extra win. Uh, if, you know, if you win by a lot and make it look good. Yeah, we had a we had a pretty crazy turn of five. Yeah, we played Twisted Fate on turn four, and then turn five playing Black Market Merchant plus double Pilfered Goods, and then like their like with their whole deck already costing like one mana anyway. Let us play all those free spells. It was that was kind of crazy. Okay, okay. I like this. Um, yeah, I just like this. Will of Ionia good against Vi. But not really good against anything else. I'll just mulligan it. But there's a good chance that I mulligan it and then I regret mulliganing it because it's not good against anything else. Or, like, then they have Vi and I don't have an answer for Vi. And then I'm sad. So that could definitely be a thing. I pull the strings. Vi pulls the strings. Rummage. Zero mana rummage. Good with Twisted Fate. Hold 
I'm not sure if Deep is the best late game deck, but it is. It is up there. Let's get to it. Attack! What's your hurry? I'll take that back, thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm not going to be able to play anything. It does not make sense to return to put Black Market Merchant into play. It does not make sense to do that. Um, I can rummage away the return, right? Because that, that's going to go away anyway. So I can just basically cycle one of these things and draw two. Which maybe that's the thing I should do. Maybe like the. I don't know, maybe the Twin Disciplines? Yeah, I guess the Twin Disciplines. Huh. Even though I like Twin Disciplines and I wish we had it. All right, so you took the Braum Swain feedback, and it's working great. Awesome. You swapped a Braum for one Katarina and two Blades. In. It's working great. That's awesome. Glad to hear. I've been wave, yeah. Glad to hear. Okay. We just know about that Vi over there now. All right, so we're going to play Twisted Fate first, and we're going to start drawing some cards. So we're going to use this draw card, get the uh, refill the spell mana, so we have four... Uh, mana, and that's gonna be our first card. Then we'll have Merchant Pilfer Goods. Don't ask where it's from. You weren't using it. So that's already four for Twisted Fate. Halfway there. Could even say we are living on a prayer. Vengeance is a nice one against Vi. Um, or I could go William Gotcha and take out both of these. Like if I go Vengeance, they just have the Vault Breaker. Like, they just have another Vi, right? Gotta trust your instincts. Oh, well, I'm gonna go Vengeance. Illuminasi with a donation deck. Man, we are just getting so many donation decks these days. Okay. So this is the deck that got you to Diamond. Feel free to make changes if you think will make it better as long as you stay true to the spirit. It's a King Plank Sejuani Plunder deck. All right. All 
All right, cool. We just played one of those on Sunday. Played a King Plank. Said Juani Plunder deck. Wait, so do they just have? Wait, what just happened? Because I used Vengeance on the Vi, I killed the Vi, and they played a Vi as a Vault Breaker. So why do we see another Vi in hand? Did they just have a third Vi? And they used they used a different Vi as Vault Breaker and not this one? That's the only thing I can think of. So yeah, it was just the third the third Vi. Um I don't know, I don't I don't like love any option that we have. I don't want to just attack. Maybe that's being too slow and reactive. Like maybe I should play Zed or Jaw Hunters. I'm just going to attack. How do I draw two cards? I need to draw two. Oh, this isn't recall. I was thinking this was the recall card. <laughs> yeah, they're just passing. Do they have like their own ruination and they want me to play something else and then they're gonna ruination? Precious worth at least twice as much. I'll play that thing, it gets me another thing. Yep, Casino is Slotbot Jinx. It's a, a Mogwai deck. They were trying to ruination. I wish this was the recall. I liked it better when this deck only played one ruination. <laughs> I liked that better. Like, do I bounce Twisted Fate? Is that worth it? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have a Twisted Fate than a Will of Ionia in my hand, so yes. I guess that answers that question. <laughs> to obliterate Ledros. Obliterate. Alright, Ledros out of here for good. For good. I tell ya. Ooh hoo 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 hoo. Well then. Man, we have some options. It's like I could go like Zed and they play like Vi and then I stun Vi. And then we like attack for a bunch. That that's pretty cool. If I go like Zed and then they have like Karina, ugh, yuck. Um, could just you know like attack and then try to have Rex afterwards. No, that that doesn't sound as good. Let's go this way. They go Ledros. I'm down to four. I could still stun or bounce. Here comes the punchline. Played 
If they try to just use like removal on Zed right now, I have the retreat. I can just bounce it, replay it. Unfortunately, I don't have the mana to bounce, replay, and also have give it the plus two, plus zero. I can just do challenger, but I can't. I can't give it plus two, plus zero. So giving a plus two would definitely be game. Is this game anyway? That's six, ten, twelve. No, we're too off. So close. So close. If I have one more mana, we have it. Yeah, that was a good turn. That was a good turn. I mean, we can still lose this, unfortunately. Like, how do I stop them from just having, like, four points of burn that kill me? before I do damage to them. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. Hmm. Gotta trust your instincts. Oh, did I have four? Oh, could I have done that? I go back. No, I don't. I, I can't. I can't go. I can't retreat. Red card. No, because that that costs twelve regular mana to re bounce this red card. Then Rex. I don't have that much mana. I think I have to um, bounce and look for and just blue card and just kind of draw. And look for something. I don't want to just pass, right? Because then if they pass back, I waste all this mana. I think I need a blue card and just draw a card. Look for like a deny. Just in case. Uh, I don't have the mana. One short, because I have to do this first. One, one short. I was, I was thinking I was going to have blue card and then you know have the extra mana, but I had to do that first. Just get that thing out of here. That egg. Did it move? Mm. And now maybe I just don't kill them. Uh, maybe I may have messed up that. I played the previous turn. I may have just messed that one up. Hapless aristocrat. Ugh. up. Yeah, we have to open attack. Man, that hapless aristocrat. That's rough. Because I just lose to Ledros plus big shot if I don't. That was a bad play with the bounce. Turn on plunder. Vi stands for vicious. Feel me in.
so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Uh, yeah, I messed up that other turn. They didn't have the mana to play Ledros, I don't think. I guess yeah, I guess they did. But yeah, they chose that route instead. They wanted to have they wanted to have the gain two life available with Vile Feast. Aristocrat. That night, I just should not have picked up my twist of fate. Was... Can't turn on plunder. We need to make it rain. I know what lurks in the shadows. Well, that's likely game. Still had a lease for two mana. I should not have lost that game. I messed that game up. have lost that that ah, game was my bad that was a that was a tough game played the turn after the uh, after the ruination well but after that, we needed you that whole game make it rain. So I could play Riptide Rex and kill him. Uh, Nick Max plays another streamer. Good, good streamer. Send them all back. Yep, so that's what we do, you know, like, we're, we're learning together, you know, we're growing together, you know, like, that's, uh, it's always, you know, not, not gonna be perfect. Um, sometimes we play well, sometimes the lines we take, the opponents have the cards to make those look silly, and we learn together. That gives them one less blocker for the Zed. Not really, you know, like we'll just trade with those. I am the blade in the darkness. <laughs> oh, my bad. Chat chat's full of master players who never misplay. It's I'm I'm one of them. I'm I'm a master player who never misplays whenever I'm I'm watching sitting back watching and get the, the hindsight. Sure. No, you know, like, I'll, I'll watch, like, you know, some of my games on YouTube sometimes, you know, and, you know, I try to learn and everything, too, and I'll, I'll, you know, be able to 
watch my own games is nice but like while i'm watching i'm like what am i doing like i like i'm just like looking and I, i'm like this is a very obvious line i should be doing this and then i do something else and i'm like what what are you doing um and maybe that's because subconsciously i kind of know what the outcome is going to be maybe <laughs> But even, even like games from like a month or two ago that I don't remember exactly what happens. Uh, that happens sometimes too. I don't want to bounce. Get him, Zed. Get him. Darn. Alright, still leveled up, Zed. Still turned on plunder. Turning on plunder, real important. They call us murderers as though it were an insult. Save it for someone who listens. Yes, I will take that card, thank you. What else you got? Eh, I don't like that one. You can have that one back. I want more spells. Intimidating Roar. It's a great combo with Yasuo. It's gonna do two damage to everything. And stun all my things. I suppose. Stop trying to kill my Zed. My Zed too cool. This so small, but she ain't lacking courage. All right, now we got double twin disciplines for protection. Going harvesting. And let's go. Let's go attacking. Boo. All right, so we need to. Hmm. We're going to do that and. We need to give it plus zero, plus three, so it doesn't die, because it's going to take two damage. From Yasuo. But we are going to not quite... Oh, no, we're not going to kill their Yasuo, because their Yasuo is going to level up, right? So it's going to be a five. Five power. The five five? Dang, that thing's huge. So now Twin Disciplines doesn't save. Ooh, okay, that could be good. That could be good. Guess that's one way to do it. My life for the order. We need to turn on plunder. I don't really know why Yasuo wasn't attacking with a quick attack. 
I think that was a free attack with, against two mana. Attack. And yes, the Minotaur Reckoner does get to block something. Um, I'm just trying to turn on Plunder for my Riptide Rex Pilfer Goods combo. And it's going to be difficult. Even though the Minotaur Reckoner can block one thing, it's kind of difficult to do this and have Yasuo survive. Nothing personal. If they go, like, barrier lifesteal, I can bounce. Yeah, I can rebounce if we need to. But that's tough, because now the... Yeah, this is difficult. Hmm. I guess they're just going to do this and go back to 20. <laughs> I don't really have a good option. And they, so they gain five life from, from the Will of Ioni and gain five life here. Yeah, I mean, I think I just let this happen and then my I think my best plan is just let them kill both of these. They technically spent two cards to kill them both, right? I think they spent Spirit's Refuge and Will of Ionia. I guess they didn't spend a card to kill that, but... They took damage. We'll have Rex rip tied it up. Yeah, we did not let those puppy tails fool us, did we, puppy? Puppy, come here. Ugh. So I didn't, I didn't retreat Zed because I wanted, I wanted the Minotaur to take the damage. So we made sure to kill the Minotaur. One of the Minotaur taking the damage. We could bounce Riptide Rex, puppy. I didn't have the mana for Twin. I mean, I was going to go Rex, kill for goods. Uh, that thing's going to be annoying. I guess I could have just gone Sentry instead of this gold card. This is a pretty good combo. Retreat with Sentry. It's a pretty good combo. And we need to build a Retreat Arachnoid Sentry deck. Wait, why does the Yasuo deck not just play Retreats for Arachnoid Sentry? I guess because it's not really good with anything else. Well, that does seem kind of busted. I guess I could have saved Zed and not used Pilfer Goods. It's all good. Correct, it's save. Yeah, it would be save Zed with a V, not with an F. Not save Zed. Yeah, correct. Save uh, with a V. Yeah, you get to replay Shadow Assassins and... Um... And Arachnoid Sentry. Okay. Might not have wings. This is seven damage right now. Eight damage. Go eleven.
Yeah, replaying Riptide Rex is gonna be pretty nice. That was nice of them. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Yeah, maybe we need like a Yeah, maybe we need a couple warning shots to turn on our plunder. Or Yordle Rifter. Couple. You pay, I fight. Danger pay. We make quite a big blade twirler. Wish I'd wish I had one more mana. Like I like I always say. That's a play trigger, that's not a stun trigger. Oh, or that's not, oh, well. No wonder we don't really, Never mind. figured out why we don't put those two together. It's a play trigger, not a summon. Figured it out. That's why we don't put those together. Try to keep up. Close the distance. Let's see. Eight away from deep. They're at five. Obliterate fish. Yuck. All right, well, this has been kind of messy. They got back into this. I didn't think they'd be able to, but they, they've gotten back in. It's kind of been the story of our deck. We're letting these people come back into, like, whenever it looks like we're super far ahead. So letting them get back in here. It's kind of what's been going on. Surrender. All right, sounds good. You're going crazy, puppy. Why are you going? 
so crazy. Both of these two dogs. Look at these two. They're just here going crazy. What? All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go let him outside real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna go let him outside. Uh. Come on, girls. Okay. Alright, two and one. So, Juani Swain. I mean, our, our hand's not bad. Right, Lie of the Dragon on two, Shadow Assassin on three, Twisted Fate on four. Pilfer goods for later. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much our Eye of the Dragon. You know, like we're not really casting two spells in a round with this thing. I'll try anyone. We'll each hold a world within. And it's not Delicious. like the best defensive hand. But I'm not sure if we have the best defensive hand in us. Alright, Zed or Shadow Assassin? Zed's higher upside, but also they can just have Elixir of Iron and really blow up Zed. So I'm gonna go Shadow Assassin. Get an additional card. More cards. Take heart could be nice. That could be nice. Change I for some warning shot. Which card is I? I. Oh, Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, yeah. I could. I could see. I could see playing just more, a few more spells instead of the Eye of the Dragons. Like make it rain. Warning shot, stuff like that. I could see that. I'm gonna go let the dogs back in. Sorry, opponent. Um, what are we doing? Pass turn. All right, I gotta go back. Puppy was outside. He's in the bathroom, so I had. But she was taking a while, and so I just came back. Three, six. Um, what are we doing here? Make it rain. already leveled up to 4-7. Yuck. Yuck. 
talking without me. I feel like something could go wrong with me playing Make a Rain. Again, Elixir of Iron or something like that. But yeah, I, I'd have to say that the probably my least favorite card in this deck is the Eye of the Dragon. That is probably my least favorite card. So I would not mind if we want to get a, a couple more spells in here that can turn on Plunder that's not combat. I would not mind that card. So I don't know if that's like that worthy of a deny. I mean, they do. You know, they don't get like the two for one of both of these with that. Yeah, if you purify they who endure, it, it turns back into a 1-1. One, one. Don't have a great attack with... Zed, like if I want to go Zed. Reconnecting. Alright, reconnecting. Destruction feeds my fire. Come, Do I pick a card and just put Zed back? Maybe. What is this at zero? It can't be at zero, right? Oh, it's just at one. I mean, it's either it's either put a Z back or put a Mega Rain back. Um, I don't know. Maybe these Mega Rains would be real good. Zed gone. Well, we do have Plunder turned on because of the Crimson Disciple. After all that. As far as Rex is concerned, a little Riptide. It's a pretty nice take heart. Guillotine will be able to kill some things. And they call me a shark. And they call me a shark. Alright, so bye bye Jaw Hunters, bye bye Sonic Wave. If they want, they can kill two things. They could kill like Twisted Fate and I don't know, Crimson Curator or something. But if they do that, that like takes up their whole turn. They only have two mana left. What if the stolen cards were revealed? Would that be better? Like if they like whatever cards they steal from you gets revealed. So you can at least kinda plan around your own cards a little better. Yeah, 
Yeah, they still have the cards. They're so efficient for card draw. You know, two mana for Black Market Merchant, two mana for Pilfered Goods. Like, maybe they both need to just be three mana. As far as card draw is concerned, they're so efficient. Six. Rex made a beautiful work of art. Alright, that should be game. Hopefully. Rex already make, made it rain. Make it rain. All right, GG's. It was in the car. Okay, we're three and one with Zed's fate. <laughs> Y'all think if, if they added Twitch to Runeterra, Twitch would be from PNZ? Is Twitch like a character in League of Legends or something? Or are you just saying like Twitch like the platform that I'm streaming on right now? Callista Elise. Oh, Twitch. Okay, so Twitch is a character. It's a rat. He's a toxic mutated rat. I thought y'all were talking about the platform I was streaming on. Like, if they put Twitch into... Rune Terra. I know what looks like in that. Shadows. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. The order rewards its faithful. I don't like those champions. Those champions are good. Champions are good. Do I try to get Twisted Fate and play first? No. I just take stuff. Answer is always just take stuff. Especially how it costs less. You know, that Ravenous Butcher costing zero. That was really nice. There you are. So we just go... Okay, so red card would... Um, would level up Callista. 
Hmm. Could just go Neverglade Collector here, honestly. Maybe just Neverglade Collector. Three mana Neverglade collectors. Like nev like they would you know, they could like kill some things. <clears throat> we would drain them. Which that's a that that's a nice uh thing, uh draining the opponent. And then we'd be able to like we still had with turn five, we still had mana for our other black market merchant after we drained them. Because we would have turned on Blunder with Neverglade Collectors. That's that's pretty awesome. So yeah, like the Bilgewater cards are really good. You know, we went 4-1, and I like the Ionia tricks with them. I like these, like, Retreat and Sonic Wave, um, Shadow Assassin, of course, is amazing, Twin Disciplines, Deny, Will of Ionia. I like those uh, Ionia cards with these, you know, to back up the Bilgewater stuff. I think those are... Because, you know, you, you do need good spells to back up the, the Bilgewater stuff, and I think those are those are uh, good, uh, good spells to back it up. So I, I liked that quite a bit. Um, I could see, yeah, so Eye of the Dragon is probably my least favorite card, and I'm not sure if you need three of these, and we did talk about how just turning on Plunder, um, spell-wise and not combat-wise would be beneficial, and so whether that's, there's basically three, there's basically four ways to do that. We, we could have Warning Shot, because I think you could, you could play just like one or two Eye of the Dragons, like I don't think you need to have three, um... So you could have like one or two, probably just one. You don't really, because you don't really ever need a second one in play because it just takes up too much space when you're already playing merchants and other stuff. So if we just play one, that would give us two spells to turn on, um, to turn on uh, Plunder for like Riptide Rex and stuff. So it's either just playing Warning Shots or Parlay is another option or getting the third Make It Rain in here. That's an option. And uh, finally playing a Yordle Grifter that can do some stealing, be a 3-3, and also create a warning shot. You know, some steal about half of the time, but always create a warning shot for your uh, for your Riptide Rex. And I think what I would do is I would play a Yordle Grifter and the third Make It Rain. I think I'd want to do those two instead of two Eye of the Dragons. And then, yeah, then you just have, um, you know, maybe another way to uh, draw, draw a card sometimes for your Twisted Fate um, and all stuff like that. So yeah, we went 4-1 and that one loss definitely felt like I probably should have won it. Uh, I think we ha we had the cards to win that game. It was a it was a tricky game to play, and I think we had the cards to to win that game. But um, you know we ended up losing. But I think this was a good version of the the Bilgewater stuff. I liked how how we did against the uh, They Who Endure deck. How we played against that deck twice and did really well. We also did a really good job of drawing Black Market Merchants and Pilfered Goods. Those are like our two, like two of like the strongest cards in our deck, and I think we did a real good job of drawing uh, those two and drawing them together. But all right, so there we go. That's Zed's fate, um, and of course Zed, Zed was pretty nice too. You know, Zed just gave us another like pretty cheap, you know, only three mana. Um, big threat that like my opponents like had to deal with you know and it put a lot of pressure on them and so that's the good at being able to pressure them that much whenever you have all of this other stuff going on so yeah I liked Zed here I think I think that uh, you know this is kind of like playing a Lee Sin Twisted Fate deck but I kind of liked how Zed was a, a cheap a lot cheaper card to pressure them well that was good um, and it made it makes like retreat better you know having like those three mana spells does make retreat better but anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to uh, leave those comments as well. I always like those comments also. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Zed's Fate, and I'll see you for the next video.